next into the tank is a way to make a holiday chore easier. Hi Sharks, my name is Brian Perla. I am 21 years old from West Boylston, Massachusetts. I am the owner and inventor of Little Elf Gift Wrap Cutter. Today, I am seeking $150,000 in exchange for 15% stake in my company. Sharks, we all know the holiday season is stressful. Do we really need one more thing to test our patience, like cutting wrapping paper with scissors? <laughs> Oh, everyone hates cutting wrapping paper because it always comes out ripped, jagged, or crooked. All of this paper has been left useless for anything but the recycling bin. That's why I have revolutionized the way people cut gift wrap with the Little Elf, the easy, lightweight, and fast gift wrap cutter. In just a few seconds, you can cut straight and feel great. Just measure the paper to your desired length, Slide the little elf back so the sheet of paper drops into the blade embedded slot, and then with ease, push the little elf forward. Oh, wow. Pretty good. Getting a smooth, clean, and extremely satisfying cut every single time. So, sharks, I know you all could use a little helper this holiday season. So, who's ready to join me, me to get I hate wrapped cutting up paper. in a cutting edge investment <laughs> I with the little elf? I actually want to try it too. Yeah. You guys can come on up and try it. So, first, what you're going to do. You can just grab this sheet of paper, uh -huh. slide this little off back, uh -huh. so it drops into that blade embedded slot, and then just oh, I see. move it forward with ease. Yeah. Barbara, how is it? Hard to aim, so. easy to do once you got it. Yep. yep, and then just slide it forward. Wow, that's pretty ingenious. Lori, was it easy? It really was. And it doesn't matter how big or how small the piece of paper is, right? But what if I only want half the sheet? So I can show you that right now. So it's great for trimming as well. You're going to insert it into the blade slot like this with the little elf upside down. And then you can trim the paper just like that. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. How much does it cost? So on Amazon, we're selling a two pack for $13.99. And on our website, we're selling anywhere from $5.99 to $7.49 depending on the quantity. How'd you come up with this? I've always had just the knack for like thinking of ideas, coming up with solutions, but that was confusing to my teachers as like an elementary school student because I really struggled with reading, writing, and comprehension. Finally, in second grade, I was diagnosed with pretty severe dyslexia. Yes. Yep. Me so too. For Me the rest too. of my elementary school, I struggled with you know, reading three, four grades behind. Finally, in fifth grade, I was transferred to a school specifically for dyslexic students. Throughout high school, I really embraced that. I developed and designed what is today Little Elf gift wrap. And how old were you at the time? I was a senior in high school. What? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, Brian, good and job. And right now, I am actually a junior at Stanford University up wow. in Palo Alto. Wow, you got so a Impressive. What are you studying at Stanford? Product design, so it's the perfect, mm. it's the perfect, perfect match for fit. me. What are your sales this year, and how much money are you going to make? To date, we've done $250,000 in sales. Wow. You're doing everything alone, and you own it 100%? I am running the whole business myself. I do have a licensing agree agreement with the world's largest gift wrap company. So my deal is for the next two to four years, I get 10 to 13% of retail sales only. But I can sell online, I can sell on QVC, HSN, online have shopping. Have you been on QVC, HSN? We have not. And what is What's your, your cost to make it? $2.09. So it costs you $2.09, and your, what's your average sales price? $15. So you're selling multiple units typically. Yeah. Brian, you're, you're killing it. Your margins are like 80%. Mm -hmm. What else do you need? Help with advertising, you know. I haven't spent a dime on advertising. That's just to drive your online sales? Just to drive online sales. Get on TV shopping would be huge. Someone sees it in action, they're gonna fall in love with Bingo. it immediately. Listen, I think I've heard enough. Um, I'm gonna make you an offer. I feel I'd be a great partner for you because this is visual and I think I could blow this up on QVC and also uh, elsewhere. But I think you need help. So it would be 150000 for 30% Ooh. so that we can be... Good thing um, I'm here, well, Brian. So that we can be partners. As a fellow dyslexic, I'm going to make you an <laughs> offer, too. I'm not as greedy club. 
I too will bring you in under my vendor code at QVC and my team, I will personally sell it on my show. We'll sell a ton <laughs> Whoa, of it. Whoa, a little competition. Um, yeah, yeah, we have competition, but I'm gonna structure it differently. I'm gonna give you $150,000. Um, I'm gonna apply a royalty of a dollar a unit you can afford until I get back 450,000, then that goes away forever. I want 10% of the company and I will blow it up huge on Amazon and on your website, huge. It'll be insane what happens. You have two offers. What do you yeah. want to do? I mean, I, I thank you both. I think it'll be foolish of me not to listen to everyone else. I have a question. Yeah. Repeat back to me what Kevin offered you. So he offered me 150,000 for 10% with a- Dollar royalty. Dollar royalty and he, until he gets back 450,000. So I'll do his deal, but I'll go 75 cents in royalty. Okay. I'll drop it to 50 cents. I'll drop it to 45. I'm helping you out here a lot, I'd say. <laughs> I'll drop it to 40. I'll drop it to 35. That's going to take 2,000 years. No, 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 I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so I would rather from my point of view, have a partner with just equity. No royalty at all? Yeah, I have not taken any money out of this myself. And I'm I think good with that. So my offer was 150,000 for 30%. Okay. Do you want to counter? I will offer 150,000 for 25%. I can sell hundreds of thousands of these in minutes in my show. So I mean, I. no offense to Kevin, but my no, show no. is way more popular. I'm, no, and it's not true at all. Yes, it is wow, very Lori. true. Oh, oh my God, it's, not true. it's so true. No, that's but not anyway, true. I'll give you a, an offer, 150,000, 20%. I hope you take it. My last offer was at 25 and you've dropped to 20%, no royalty, straight equity. Yes. That's the deal. Hey, Brian, you are one impressive guy. I got to tell you, you are the spirit of what makes this country great. You didn't make excuses. You overcame incredible odds. I admire that. It's not my space. Both of these guys are great. I'm out. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. That's very kind. Brian, Barbara, gonna, I'm going to clear the floor, but I really want to encourage you. I think you're fine on your own. I can't even imagine what you need a shark in. I'm out. Okay. So Brian, I'm trying to get a feel where you want to go because one side says, you know what, you can make a lot of money with the licensing play, plus doing it from your website, plus just adding some SEO for Amazon, yeah. right? I know what Lori can do, she can do great things, but what's important here is your vision and how you want to see it blow up. I mean, I've sold over a thousand successful that, that's not what products he's on QVC alone. Brian, don't and you think it's, every it's shark does that with something... all of their entrepreneurs? No. They've been doing this for 10 years. No, you don't. Lori's the only one that makes not money with Not with my success rate, Kevin. We all do it. I sell all my deals on QVC, including Love Pop Cards, which has been an unmitigated hit. Yes. And that's because of the gifting seasons around holiday. We kill it. Brian, what is it that you want in a so, partner? Yeah, Listen I, to your instinct. I want to answer that. What is that. it that you want so, for yourself? What's missing? You want a dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> so here I, I am, baby. The, the retail license opportunity is great. You have Since, that in your pocket though, right? Isn't yeah. There? So while the retail licensor is, you know, really growing that business, I just need to make sure that I'm doing my due diligence and making sure that it's a cool item that someone can buy online. And you have yeah. two good offers. I think you want to be on TV though? I'm curious. Like, would you want to be, my entrepreneurs come on with me in my yeah. show. You, you know, can come it's on my very show. much so a Brian, 50 Brian, 50. Goal, right? If you like that idea of being yeah. on QVC and do that, it's not in my wheelhouse. For those reasons, I'm out. Yeah, okay. But let's just summarize the offers. I've okay. offered you the 150,000, no royalty for 25%. Lori's at 150,000 for 20. The extra five is for the Mr. Wonderful part. Okay. Because <laughs> there's only one Mr. Wonderful. I'm not discounting myself. Is there any way you would work together? No. So we, no. That we is not we the answer. Need, we, don't need, <laughs> we don't need to. But you know in your heart the right way to go. Kevin, you're dyslexic. We have that bond, but Lori is the best option 
for this, and I'd Huge love to respect. make a deal with you. Huge Huge respect. Respect. Yes! That's your deal. Seriously. We will Thank you so much. Up. Yeah, I will not let you down. Thank you. Absolutely huge mistake. This product has Lori written Thank all you, over all of you. it. Thank you, all of you. Congratulations. Yeah. Next in the tank is a veteran in the holiday game, bringing joy to children everywhere. Well, hello, ho, ho. <laughs> Sharks, my name is Santa Claus, and today I'm asking... Oh, no! Not today, Santa! <laughs> hello, Sharks, and happy holidays! I'm Tommy, the real elf, and I bring joy to the world through peace, love, and elfies. All right, Santa, this is my time to shine. Have some milk and cookies over there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal, Sharks. The big guy, he gets busy. And as the real elf, I found a way to spark a little joy that's available to everyone around the world anytime with Elfgram's personalized holiday digital messages. No matter what you celebrate, you can log on to the Real Elf website and order a personalized holiday Elfgram from me, the one and only Real Elf. But that's not all. Hire me for your next corporate event, <laughs> private party, <laughs> or media appearance. <laughs> I'm offering 25% of what's in my stocking in exchange for 125,000 chestnuts. Oh. <laughs> Dollars! Real money to create a platform and expand the real elf business. So, Sharks, you'll be sorry if you miss out on this opportunity. So let's make magic happen! <laughs> now, all of you, come on up and get your first ever Shark Elfie! Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Everybody say, Elfie! Elfie! Tommy. <laughs> Good luck with the pitch. Thanks, Alvin. Oh, Thank, oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Thank you, Santa. 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> okay, so, Tommy, what is the business? So, I go around the world and I take Elfies. You can hire me or you can have an Elf Gram or I also have curated Elf swag. <laughs> What's an LP gram, though? I, I'm trying to understand the model. So you have a digital uh, model as well as in person. Correct. This last season, I partnered with an organization called Immerman Angels. They uh, are free one-on-one -on -one cancer support. So partnering up, they allowed me to create a website where someone put in a request, and then I was able to give them a custom message. Actually, we have an example of an elf gram for you um, here today. Hey Sharks, it's me, Tommy the Real Elf, sending you peace, love, and elfies all year round. And remember, you can do anything, especially in a red onesie. <laughs> Happy holidays! <laughs> what does an Elfgram cost? $50 per video. So it's just you at the other side, at the other end of the, of the tunnel, right? Correct. But th this past season, I was pivoting towards an online model because I couldn't be available to everyone all the time. Yeah, no kidding, that's a problem. It's very seasonal, obviously. How much do you make in one month? So typically about ten to 15000 a month. This past season was probably the most successful, almost 20,000, and everything I've made has been profit. Year round as well, or just around Christmas time? Just around Christmas time, but I think the goal here today is to really expand the Real Elf brand by building an online model so I can make it accessible to everyone around the world. So you make $15,000 once a year around the holiday? Correct. With your personality, I'm sure you have a big online following. So Absolutely. tell us about that. So everything that I have done has been online. So I'm a one-stop shop. I don't have a team of other elves. You know, I mean, Barbara, <laughs> if you're interested, you're wearing red, we're wearing red. I could definitely like, hire you. <laughs> you so how many followers too. do you have? 
Well, probably 10,000 if you include Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I mean, I don't tweet because I don't have posable thumbs. It's very hard to respond to everyone all the time. Where did you come up with the idea of, I'm going to put on a red onesie and become an elf? Just... <laughs> well, I, I have some wonderful friends that we were at a holiday party, and everybody started joking and calling me an elf all night. And Aww. I thought it would be fun to create a silly holiday card. And then every year, everyone was like, are you doing that again? Are you oh. doing it again? And I just, you know, I love it. I enjoy, enjoy the holidays. I, I think you're, you're great at it, actually. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's you are. very natural, and it really works, and I think it's perfect. You're, you are the elf. Thank you. You need a social media partner, because you're right. You can't be everywhere. Right. But social media and technology now could let you build a brand online. I wish that person was standing beside you with a business plan, but it's a personal service business. Everyone has to be done by you, Tommy. Right, and now it's just gotten to a point where I need to expand it so I can do more. If you can have other holiday characters that you can have exclusively to this app, I can be able to expand it more. Well, why haven't you well, done it to this point, Tommy? I honestly just don't have the bandwidth. You've got 10 um, months a year or you're doing though? nothing. This Wait, isn't my full-time. What's your regular full-time job? I work for a, a full-service global media agency. I, basically, I'm an EA, so. EA being an executive assistant. Correct. I know this is, sounds like such a bizarre idea. I honestly think it's bringing the holidays into the next Actually, generation. Actually, it doesn't sound like it's a bizarre idea at all. The challenge is the execution because you already have a full-time job. That's but, the problem, and, and that's why I can't get my arms around it. So for those reasons, I'm out. I get it. You Tommy, know, I, th I think you're terrific, between. but I think this is a deal for Barbara. So I'm going to step aside. <laughs> I'm out. Tommy, what are you going to do with the money? Well, you know, apps cost anywhere between 60 and 300,000, depending on how wow. complex they you are. You really don't need an app. Yeah, you, I, don't, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I don't think you need an app at all. I think you just need to like think of creative, different, funny ways in which to do TikToks. I think you're funny as can be and so charming. It's just not a business to me. You know, it seems like a great, fun thing for you that you can keep growing. But for those reasons, I'm out. Yeah, you. Tommy. Um, I love you. I, I, I love you too. We just I met, but I love hang you out too. And go <laughs> and have some drinks, right? I think this is a great business for you. You don't need a partner for this, and I think that you can grow it from 15 a year to 50 to 100. You don't realize that you can figure it out yourself. So I don't think this is investable for me. I'm out. Tommy, there are four sharks out, but all is not lost <laughs> because you're wearing red, as you said earlier, and so is Barbara. Tommy, there are four sharks out, but all is not lost <laughs> because you're wearing red, as you said earlier, and so is Barbara. You could swap. I look great in a onesie, by the way. Yeah. I really do. Okay, you Barbara, know, it what does are you going to do? Especially the control top pantyhose, I'm telling you. <laughs> everything <laughs> fantastic. What is most obvious to me sitting here is you got all, everybody falling in love with you. You wear your heart on your sleeve. You're so charming. And that's why I'm sitting here and I'm interested because I really want to see you do well. You lead with your heart and you make the world a better place. You're one of those kind of guys and we don't have enough of them out there. You mentioned working with a cancer support group why is that important to you? So in, in 2013, um, I just had a bit of a rough patch. So I was diagnosed with uh, empathy and sarcoma. It likes to start at the ends of your fingers, your toes. So it's actually my um, missing my left pinky finger. Oh my. And uh, Immerman Angels provides free one-on-one -on -one cancer support. So they were somewhere that was a source for me like during that time. Would you be willing to give away $25 out of every $50? Because I don't think you're motivated by money at all. That's my sense of it. If it would help someone, absolutely. Yeah, you would. All right, well, I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to give you the $125,000, but $50,000 in cash and $75,000 in loan. And I'm going to take 35% of your business, but I'd like half the sales to go to a cancer charity of your choice. I think that's a good idea, Tommy, because they're going to promote you. What do you want to do? I love you, Barbara. Ah, I love Congratulations. you, Congratulations. All right. All right. Yeah. Bye. Such a sweetie pie. Thank you. Thank you so much. So darling. Really. <laughs> Thank you. And you got great eyelashes. And real. Oh, I know you're real. That's the problem. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
it's just such a beautiful thing. And this has just been preparation, meeting opportunity. So I really like thank you so much, Mark. Congratulations, Tommy. Well thank done. you. No, thank congrats, you. Tommy. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you slowly. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Tommy. Well done. <laughs> Happy holidays. I really thought at, towards the end it was a no-go. And, you know, Barbara just came in and, and it just seemed like a, for lack of a better word, a Christmas miracle. Next up is a way to bring magic to the holidays. Hi, Sharks. I'm Chris Seary. And I'm Lisa Seary, and we're from Wallingford, Connecticut. And we are the founders of Santa's Enchanted Mailbox, here today seeking an investment of $150,000 in exchange for 30% equity in our business. Writing letters to Santa is a tradition as old as St. Nick himself. But with the rising cost of postage, Santa has chosen our family to create an exciting and innovative way to send your letters to the North Pole. With Santa's Enchanted Mailbox, children everywhere can now send their letters, lists, drawings, and communicate with Santa and his elves all season long with real magic happening right before your eyes. Allow us to demonstrate how our product works. Simply insert the magical envelope into Santa's Enchanted Mailbox. Close the door, raise the flag, listen to the enchanted sounds and chimes, <laughs> and when the mailbox is reopened, your letter is gone. Magically. Oh, serious? Whisked away to the North Pole. <laughs> but sharks, don't just take our word for how much fun this new family Christmas tradition is. Take a look at some of the excitement from children around the world. <laughs> on Santa's nice list. Come join our family in spreading Christmas joy around the world. How did you even come up with this idea? This is a family business. My wife and I, we've been married 12 years yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you guys very much. Um, when our oldest, who's now 10, was three years old, we used to put out this cardboard, decorative, flimsy mailbox as a decoration. And we said, wouldn't it be cool if we could bring real magic right in front of them, not something left to the imagination? So my stepfather-in-law is a retired engineer. He helped create the prototype. Then we secured two granted utility patents. We trademarked the name. And then what again? How do we go about bringing this to the masses? So we decided to take a licensing route. Lisa and I started writing anybody that wanted to hear our story. I pitched to anybody who would take a meeting with me to learn more about the product. And we found a wholesale Christmas-based company and signed a three-year licensing agreement. Our licensing agreement just came to an end. This is our first year out on our own. And, and here we are. Here we are today. How much did they sell? So our first year, we did $120,000 in sales. Our second year, we were pretty blown away. A big box retailer placed an order for $1.7 million. Ooh. Whoa. And in our third year, 2020, a lot of obstacles happened. Uh, on a personal note, so my wife owns a hair salon. Yep. Talk a little bit about uh, that. With COVID, we were forced to shut down and the schools were forced to shut down. So uh, overnight, we became a single income family. And so not having my income pitching into our home life, we decided to go a little bit more conservative on spend. And that kind of changed our route of where we were going with the mailbox. Did it sell through at the big box retailer? We were told it underperformed to their expectations. At the same time, they dropped the price and then they did start to sell. How much did you make off of the licensing agreement? Like what percentage? In our first year, we, we did 4% until we owned the cost of the mold. Uh, in the second year, it went up to 6% and remained at 6% in our third year. And did they manufacture this or did they you? They did. So we're actually currently utilizing their manufacturer still, but we're paying a markup that comes with that. You're buying direct to the factory 
But you're going to have to pay a markup on that? We're paying a markup to our former licensing partner to utilize the manufacturer. So you're using their factory overseas, but they made you pay for the molds. What did the molds cost? We don't know the exact total, but it was close to fifteen to 30000 We had two different molds made. Wow. Yeah. Now, and, this and is a you, lesson about licensing. This is a huge yeah. lesson. Are you well, hearing it, that, Kevin? It's a well, huge, actually, I it's wouldn't a have done huge, it that way. Licensing is okay, but it's a huge lesson on the deal that you did. Yeah. Yes. Right? This was brand new to us. And maybe th there were some things that we still scratch our head about. No, but I mean, listen, don't ever feel bad. Life. The To me, the best lessons in life are your mistakes. So let's talk about the cost of this. Sure. How much does it cost to make so, and what do you sell it yeah, for? Yeah, right now they're at $17.25 all in to get them here to the States. We're selling them for $49.99 on our website. We know that we have to drive down the cost of manufacturing. You said they brought the price down and started to perform. I believe you said that, correct? Correct. Did. Um, yeah, exactly. And what was the magic price point that they started to perform at? 29? 24 dollars 24 dollars 24 dollars yeah. And you're bringing it in right now at 17 dollars Correct. This mailbox is a it's, a, it's a decorative mailbox, and people were walking past it. We had no way to get the story out, what it does. And there was no marketing budget behind it, so we're really looking for strategic partners that can help market this. I don't like seasonality in retail. I see this as a challenge just to go direct to consumer. It works. There's magic. I get it. But this was not for me. I'm out. Guys, I'm kind of in the same boat. I mean, there's a lot of complexities for a simple business. Your relationship with your former licensee, your manufacturing relationship, particularly trying to get something done for this Christmas, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's just a, a lot. That's a big hill to climb. Yep. So for those reasons, I'm out. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. I think my challenge is that um, you got to hit that price down to put it in retail. Yep. And this is a product that has to be demonstrable, and it's very hard. It doesn't have what we call hanger appeal because you don't even realize all the great things it does when you're walking by. So I that know. means right. you have to be converting heavy on yep. social media and right. online. And I don't see it there just yet, um, so I'm out. All right, thank, thank you very you. much. I have five seasonal businesses in the last three or four years. And what's interesting to me is those entrepreneurs, I believe, work harder than any of my other entrepreneurs because I have to push in a very short window. Mm -hmm. But I think your price is way too high. Mm -hmm. And yet you're smart people, you're so dedicated. I think you ought to find something else to do. Okay. I don't think this thing is going to fly. I'm out. But wait, but wait. The and queen of one. plastic is still here. Yep. <laughs> we came here today wanting to walk out of here with a deal with the right partner. I mean, we'd be willing to move the equity to where it's beneficial for the amount of work that we need. First of all, I think it's cute as can be. I really do. And I think kids will love it. It's just spot on to me. So I think the product is a hero. My problem here is I do think it's too high. And it sounds like what's going on with the factory, that's really difficult once you don't have control of it. Yep. Right? Very hard. Yes. The other thing that I worry about with this is what you could get that down to. Yep. If you had told me what this could cost, what we could do with it, that would have turned it for me. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. yeah. And so, unfortunately, because I don't know, I have to be out. Well, guys, th thank, thank you, you. So, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. Congrats, guys. Good luck. Thank you. thank you. We came into this very inexperienced as entrepreneurs. We're disappointed that we didn't land the deal, but we're also grateful for the opportunity and the words of wisdom from five really successful people. Yeah, it was a lot of fun.